Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of I Should Be Painting. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about a fairly difficult subject, so I just wanted to warn everybody right up front. I'm gonna be talking about AK Interactive's book uh, that came out, uh, I believe, on September 3rd that featured war atrocities um, and the subsequent ad campaign that went around that. So if you don't wanna talk about this subject matter, um, I understand. Feel free to move on. Um, I'm going to be talking about a little bit of my personal history uh, relating to World War II. I'm going to talk about my opinions of the book and their ad campaign. I'm not going to be showing or going into any graphic detail of the sort of things that they showed, um, but I will be referring to them. So if you are unfamiliar with them, uh, warning, don't look them up if you don't want to see horrible, horrible atrocities. Um, but if you want to be more familiarized with the context of what I'm talking about, then uh, I, I understand if you need to look up uh, what it is that we are specifically talking about because I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to be running ads on this video. Um, I'm also not going to be doing the three featured creators this week. Um, I do have three featured creators, but I'm going to do that as a separate video posted later on in the week just as a video for them themselves because I want this topic to remain sort of a self-contained uh, bubble. So with that all being said, if you are still with me, thank you so much. I know, to I know today's topic is uh, personally difficult for me to talk about um, and may be upsetting for many of you. Before we get started, I want to give you a little bit of history on my family. My grandparents are survivors of the Holocaust, and I don't mean that they escaped before the Holocaust. I mean that they were hunted, they were captured, and they were placed into forced labor camps um, where they survived until they were liberated by the British in 1946. The camp that they were liberated from was turned from a concentration camp into a refugee camp. Um, that is where they were married and where my father was born. Um, so I am a... Uh, essentially one generation away from the Holocaust, um, even though, you know, it was from 1945 and my father's 75 years old. I wanted you to know that because AK International's book directly deals with topics of the Holocaust, specifically scale models of the trains that carried Jews, mass piles of, of Jews, the gas chambers, as well as other atrocities. Um, and whatnot. And I wanted to take some time to process this information, process the, the, the content that they created before just immediately emotionally reacting. I know that there's already been a lot of reaction videos. I know those videos have already gotten a lot of traction. You may have seen them, um, but I wanted to let some time pass between the initial response people's outrage and the company's reaction. And I want to have sort of maybe a different conversation than just being upset. So first of all, I am upset. I think that the original ad campaign, which is very difficult to see, they've removed it and it's been removed from most subsequent websites. I have been able to find clips here and there. I did see the original um, was disgusting utilizing, you know, heavy metal music and barbed wire and images of atrocities in order to promote a hobbying and modeling book under the guise of this book being an artistic expression and an example of a way to not forget, to remember, and to somehow memorialize um, is in stark contradiction to the graphic that is on the front of the book um, and the ad campaign that they have ran or that they did run. Um, and that's where the problem lies. So first of all, freedom of speech, I'm a 100% believer in. And in fact, I want freedom of speech. I want people to say what's on their mind because I would much rather know what people have to say than not know what they have to say so that we can have an open and honest dialogue. So I have no issue with people talking um, or creating art or creating publications. Um, it just is more information for us to understand who they are and what their perspective is and allows us to have a more open and honest dialogue so that 
so long as we can maintain a sense of freedom of speech. So I am in no way saying that AK uh, should have not produced the book or should not have a right to produce the book. What I am saying is that the manner in which they did this was wrong and it was upsetting and it betrays the intent that they were trying to get across. So let's just back up for a second. I play Warhammer 40,000. I play a little bit of historical fiction. I play Marvel Crisis Protocol. I play X-Wing. I make dioramas. Um, I paint guns. I am intimately familiar with the fact that my hobby and our hobby is war-centric and that the fictional, fantasized version of what we do is very different than the reality of war in the real world and the reality of atrocities in the real world. And I 100% agree with AK's assertion that you can use our hobby in order to create art that will make the world a better place by drawing attention to these horrible tragedies um, and illustrating the horrific nature of humans' ability to inflict pain on each other. That is real, and you can do that. They didn't. They say they did. They say that that's what their intention was. And I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that, that, that maybe now, in retrospect, after hearing months of outreach and having their stuff taken off of Amazon and having Reddit posts with thousands of comments on it saying how ridiculous it is to use heavy metal music set to Holocaust pictures in order to sell a hobby book that claims to be an art book um, isn't quite the right way to go about it. But it is fair to have the conversation. I will say that. It's definitely fair to have the conversation. So, for me personally, it, it, I was upset. I'm still upset. It makes me question whether or not I want to do business with the company. Um, it makes me question my own relationship to games like Warhammer and it makes me question my own relationship to how close to the line of fiction I sit um, and whether or not we all need to be more empathetic and careful in our hobbies. But at the end of the day, painting model tanks and painting space marines and conducting fictional battles um, is very different. It's my opinion that AK's product um, does not rise to the level of uh, culture like the movie 1917 or Saving Private Ryan or the exhibits at the Holocaust Museum. There are ways in order to have this conversation and there are ways to memorialize and to respectfully uh, create art that will cause positive self-reflection and hopefully in the end create a better society by stimulating conversation and AK did not do that. And even though they have expressed that that is their intention, that was their intention, their original ad campaign, the original cover of the book doesn't show me that they were doing that. Now again, I waited a while to make this video. I waited a while to talk about it because I wanted to let them, AK, have an opportunity to respond. They have responded. Um, there is a lot of stuff written about it. There's a lot of stuff that you can go and see. But in general, there can be a lot of toxicity that exists inside of our hobby. And this isn't the first time that I've come across it. Uh, several years ago at Adepticon, there was a company who was running a ship game and they had a big board set up and they had pirate ships, which I thought was really cool and my friend thought that they were really cool and we went down to take a look at it um, and as soon as we approached, 
one of the people who was playing very quickly closed his treasure chest and kind of walked away and they shut the game down. Um, and the person who I was with uh, was African American and we quickly realized that the reason why they shut the game down is because they were using slaves as currency in their game. And when we approached them about it and we said, you know, like, can you understand why um, using slaves as currency inside of a miniature game uh, might be offensive, <laughs> uh, uncouth, um, downright mean? The answer that we got was, well, this is a historical game and, and historically slaves were currency. Um, to which I pointed out that they had a kraken, the giant fictional sea creature, bursting out of the middle of their board, um, fighting their slave ships. We play war games. 40K is set in the grim dark future where there is nothing but war. We play historical war games where we reenact battles between the British and the Russians and the Germans and the Chinese and the Japanese. And we all know that there is a line, that there is a fiction and that there is a reality. Can hobbying elevate itself to an art? Can we create dioramas and sceneries and models and games that not only respect the atrocities of the past, but also help stimulate positive future conversation? We absolutely can, and I encourage people to do so. And there are fantastic ways that you can do that. I personally have worked on uh, plays that were set um, in concentration camps. I specifically worked on a play where we had to build a gas chamber and the story was that there was a young woman who survived and it was the developing relationship between the survivor and the doctor who administered the gas that was the soul of this narrative. Um, it was very dark. It was very sad, it was very disturbing, um, and it was done very respectfully. I have been to Holocaust museums in Israel, in DC, in Germany. I have been to memorial sites all over the world. I have spent a lot of time internalizing my own family's relationship with these sorts of atrocities and trying to be mindful of the impact of playing war games on other people. I think AK failed miserably. I appreciate their apologies. I appreciate their second edition of the book. I personally don't think that it's quite enough. And I just wanted to share my opinions after thinking about it for a month. I hope these things make sense to you. If you'd like to have a further conversation with me about it, you can email us at coolguyswhositathome at gmail.com. It's in the link in the notes below. You can also leave a comment. Once again, I'm not going to be doing our three featured uh, creators at the end of this video. Um, I'm going to be saving that for a separate video down the week. I hope that you understand and respect my perspective, um, even if you disagree with it. And... Um, I hope to see you all on the table.